All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to 2023. Hope you all enjoyed the holidays with your families and that you're ready to kick off a spectacular new year. I am so happy to have Judy Murray here to talk to us about health and wellness in the new year. Judy owns the Max Fitness uh, uh, Max in a freehold area. And I cannot wait to hear what she has to share with us. Well, thank you. And uh, good morning, everyone. I know this is the, the first day back at work for a lot of us after a crazy and wonderful holiday season. So uh, let me start by saying Happy New Year. Um, as Therese said, I'm Judy Murray. I own the Max Challenge of Freehold. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the Max Challenge is a fitness center. Um, it's a franchise and it's been in business for almost 11 years. I've owned the Max Challenge of Freehold for uh, just about five years. And um, just to give you a little background uh, about me and, and the Max, I was never a fitness junkie. Um, I always said, oh, I belong to, to gyms my whole adult life. And then I felt like I was working out. I belong to gyms. I didn't necessarily go to them, <laughs> um, like so many of us. In fact, I remember one time I pulled into the parking lot of a, a big box gym that I belonged to. <clears throat> And I drove around and drove around the parking lot and couldn't find a parking space. So I went home and my husband said to me, <laughs> he said, did you go to the gym tonight? I said, well, yes, I did. <laughs> but actually I didn't go in. Anyway, long story short, in 2016, a friend of mine told me about the Max uh, and uh, I looked it up online and joined and um, ended up just falling in love with the culture, falling in love with the concept of what the MAX is all about, uh, and resigned from my corporate job and, and purchased the MAX Challenge of Freehold. So it's, uh, it, it's an exciting story for me, yeah, um, because I wanted to give back. I wanted other people to experience what I had experienced about them uh, in the MAX. So um, fitness and nutrition. Um, the max is really all about fitness for mind, body, and spirit. Um, and as we enter the new year, so many of us have, um, new year's resolutions that are probably comprised of fitness and nutrition. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, what I'm going to do is share my screen. Let's see if I can manage to do this. Let's see if this is going to work. No, yeah, that didn't please. work. Yes, we see we it. We see it, but it doesn't. You don't work. see my presentation, though. It says no. No. No, it's not. The How problem. about now? No. Why no. Go out and come back in. Okay. Sorry. Um, let's try again. Judy, one thing you can do is try and just share your desktop and put your presentation on the desktop. So it's the only thing you see that might make it easier. Um, Okay, I apologize for this. Okay, so this isn't, I don't know why I can't. Do you see your presentation? It. Can you see your presentation? I could, uh, and now I can't. Oh, okay. So, and I'm sorry. And I didn't print it out because I thought for sure 
um, I would be able to, I would not have a problem with it. So let me find it. Yeah. Uh, Judy, just share your screen. Do you, are you using okay. two screens? I'm sorry. Are you using two monitors or just no, one? No, just one. Okay, so then if you open it and you see it, you should be able to share and choose that file. Okay. Open. Thank you. Let's see. Slideshow from beginning. So I can see it. So now what would you like me to do? Click on the bottom share screen on the bottom of your monitor. If you if you hover, it'll pop up. Okay. And you click share screen. I did. Okay. And how about now? Yes. yes. Yay. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Teamwork. Success. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all right. Let me see if the if I can run through it. Is there a reason that it's not? You should be able to. Um, use it. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. I think I already did the Happy New Year. Thank you for bearing with me through this. So let's talk a little bit about um, some health issues. Uh, heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity. Those are the four uh, common uh, health issues that most of us experience as we get older, not necessarily as we get older, sometimes when we're younger. Um, and it is top of mind really, or should be for all of us as to how we can prevent having those health, health issues, or uh, if we already have them, how we can prevent them from getting worse. So it's highly recommended that we exercise five times a week and follow a healthy nutrition plan because after all, we all wanna become better versions of ourselves. Uh, I'm gonna show you some pictures of some real people with real results. At the max, um, we kind of work in 10 week increments that we call a challenge. And over the course of, the, of 10 weeks, by combining exercise with a healthy nutrition program, members see great results. And I will tell you 80% of the results that people see are based on nutrition. This is Francine Cooper. Francine is 58 years old and you can see when she first came to the max, this is over the course of two challenges. So 20 weeks, which is uh, not a long time at all. She's lost 50 pounds and you can see how her body has just gone through an amazing transformation and what happens is when you lose weight, when you're working out, when you look better, when your clothes fit better, you start feeling better about yourself. So I always tell people for every pound you lose, you gain two pounds of confidence. And Francine is really a, uh, a, a true testament of um, of that statement. So this is Natalie. This is, these are Natalie's results also over the course of two challenges, about 20 weeks, and she's lost about 40 pounds. You can't always judge by pounds. A lot of times it is by inches, by how your clothes fit. So really some tremendous results. And you can see, you know, looking back at what she looked like when she first started to pay attention to her health and fitness, and just the overall transformation, not only physically, but mentally. That's why we like to take pictures so that people can actually see the changes. Uh, this is Melissa. Melissa is, uh, I think, about 40 years old. She's got a five-year-old and was carrying around her baby weight and made the commitment to get healthy and fit. And I will tell you something that although all of these, uh, these three members have had great results physically, the mental change that we see in them is just incredible because they feel better about themselves because they look better, again, because they've committed to taking better care of themselves. And one of the things that is important is setting goals. So if, and I know we're all business women and we all know about goals and we all follow our own way of um, planning. Uh, and of writing down those goals and achieving them. But it is no different when you commit to eating healthy, following a good nutrition plan and working out. 
it's not always in the fitness industry. It's not always about, um, oh, I want to look good in a bikini. You know, I think we're all past that. I think it's all about what's important to us, whether it's losing 15 pounds, it could be a tangible thing like that, uh, where you, you put numbers around your goal. It could be about fitting into those skinny jeans. Most of us have those jeans in the back of the closet from five years ago, from 10 years ago, where we say one day, one day I'm going to fit into them. So that can be a goal. Um, it can simply be about having more energy. Uh, about feeling better about yourself. Or for a lot of people, some people come into my center and they say, I can't even do a setup. I don't even think that I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, whether it's my center or any other fitness center that you belong to, it could be a simple goal, um, a goal as simple as doing one setup or three setups or five setups. But I think the overarching um, message is that set a goal that um, you can reach mm -hmm. something that is achievable. Uh, and again, maybe it's just as simple as being around for, for your grandchildren, being there when they're six months old, uh, a year old, two years, five years old, being able to get down on the ground and roll around with them and play with them. So all of those things are really important. And it's important, as we all know, to get moving and to exercise and to work out. So along with working out nutrition, I can look around at a room full of my members or pretty much a room full of people anywhere and point out which people are following a healthy nutrition plan. And it's really not rocket science. It's about working out five times a week, whether that's walking, whether that's belonging to a fitness center, if you're a runner, whether it's getting on the treadmill in the cold weather or working out in a solid exercise routine at a fitness center um, and combining that exercise with a healthy nutrition plan. So what we promote at the max and what I truly, truly believe in is um, eating clean. It's not rocket science. It's all about eating clean, eating the right foods, in the right portions at the right times throughout the day. Those three things will help you achieve your health, overall health and fitness goals. So when I talk about eating clean, something that you wanna remember is when you're talking about the right foods, eating clean means not eating anything with any added sugar, number one. Number two, not eating anything with any preservatives. So I have become, as a lot of people that, uh, that belong to the max, have become experts at reading labels. And something that you want to think about when you pick up um, a box or a jar or anything at the grocery store is reading the ingredients. And if you read the ingredients and there's anything in there that you can't pronounce, you don't wanna be putting it into your body. So we're, we're all familiar with the different food groups, proteins, carbs, healthy fats, fruits, and veggies. When we talk about protein, you have choices, but the best choice is to eat lean cuts of protein. So you can still have red meat, you can still have a steak, you can still have ground beef, but you wanna look for the leanest, possible versions of that. So now it's really easy You go to the grocery store, you can buy ground beef 90% lean or 88% lean or 93% lean. Um, turkey is a great alternative. Um, um, chicken is a great alternative. Of course, white meat is the best. Uh, dark meat is okay if you need that flavor, but you don't want to eat any skin. Uh, you want to stay away from anything fatty. You can still go out to dinner. You can still have steak, but I would recommend that you have filet mignon instead of maybe um, a porterhouse steak. So you want to start to make good choices. Bottom line is you're not going to see physical changes until you make a mental shift. So you have to kind of adjust your expectations. Maybe, um, you know, a, a fried chicken is going to taste a lot better than, um, than grill, a grilled chicken breast. However, when you get used to eating clean and when you get 
when you change your mindset and know that eating clean is going to help you reach your health and fitness goals, then your, go your mind is going to shift and you're going to be happier with that grilled chicken breast. Um, you can still have bacon, but you're going to have turkey bacon. Does it taste as great as regular bacon? I don't think anything tastes as great as regular bacon. <laughs> But again, you've shifted, you, you've made that, that mindset, uh, you've changed your mindset so that turkey bacon is more acceptable. So a lot of this is fitness and nutrition for your mind and your body. Does anybody have any questions? I feel like I'm just kind of chatting on. All right, I'm going to talk for a minute about carbs. You can still eat carbs when you're eating clean, but you want to change the types of carbs that you eat. So instead of white potatoes, you're going to switch to sweet potatoes. Instead of white rice, switch to brown rice, which is easy. Um, instead of regular pasta, brown rice pasta. So making these little changes in your diet will help you accomplish your goals. Again, healthy fats, it's incredibly important to incorporate healthy fats. I think years ago, there was a big fad like no fat, everything had to be no fat, but you want healthy fats in your diet. It's good for your system. Um, it's good for your body. There are certain things that you will just tweak. For example, do all of your cooking with olive oil, avocado oil, um, or coconut oil. Uh, if you use things like canola oil, vegetable oil, peanut oil, corn oil, all very bad, all will clog your arteries. So again, eating clean, doing your cooking with um, healthy oils. Uh, peanut butter, uh, almond butter, those are great healthy fats. But again, look at the label, you don't wanna be eating peanut butter with sugar and salt as a uh, peanuts, sugar, and salt. If you go to the grocery store and you look at the shelf at all the different peanut butters, you will find ShopRite brand, Stop and Shop, Food Town, all of those um, store brands have healthy peanut butter and the ingredients are simply peanuts and salt, no sugar added. Uh, another great healthy fat, uh, different kinds of nuts, cashews, walnuts, um, Pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, those are all healthy fats. All of your fruits are healthy and compliant. All of your vegetables, fresh vegetables are always the best. The only thing that you want, things you want to stay away from are corn. Corn has no nutritional value and a lot of natural sugar in it. Um, the other, the other, um, vegetable that you want to stay away from might be, um, sweet peas because they have a lot of natural sugar. Lastly, I would stress staying away from dairy and everybody that I know when I say no dairy, they go, oh my God, no cheese. But I believe it's 80% of the people in the world can't digest cheese and it's very bloating. So as the minute you take that away from your diet, your body reacts beautifully to it. You know, we all eat pizza, we all love lasagna and we eat it and it's so uh, savory and delicious. And then an hour later, we feel like we have a brick in our belly. So if you can stay away from dairy, I would highly, highly recommend it. Your body will thank you for it. So this is just a, a visual of uh, what eating healthy is uh, can look like. You've got a steak, you've got vegetables, salmon, uh, all, all of your fish, shellfish is a great, great healthy protein, fruits, um, eggs, uh, egg whites are the best. Egg yolks are considered a fat. So you want to try and stay away from, I know a lot of, um, people have switched to eating egg whites and, and just because it's a fad, but you have to understand why egg whites are one of the cleanest proteins that you can eat. So when you're talking about portion control and not eating a lot of fat throughout the day, which I'm going to get to in a minute, Egg yolks are considered a fat and I don't wanna waste my fats on an egg yolk. I'd rather waste it on, on salad dressing or I shouldn't say wasted, spend it on salad dressings and uh, nuts, things of that nature. Judy, right foods, yes. 
I only because you said if anybody had questions before, I wanted to add a comment to the vegetable statement that you made. Sure. Um, because I just, you know, didn't read the can of vegetables because I'm thinking it's a vegetable. I know what's in a vegetable. And I was all proud of myself because I was eating tons of veggies for breakfast, but I was eating them out of a can. And when you actually look at the label, there's nothing <laughs> other than like fiber. There's nothing in canned vegetables. So I just wanted to point that out because you saw how important it was to read the cans. Yes, that's great. And that's also a good alternative to uh, fresh vegetables, frozen vegetables. I would go in the order of fresh vegetables. Fresh is always better. Uh, frozen. Has that's what no I did. I switched to the frozen ones instead since I was like, wait, I'm eating all these veggies out of a can, but all I'm getting is fiber really. So yeah. Yeah. And uh, canned vegetables, um, I would say is the least healthy alternative. Um, in the fresh and frozen, you still have all your vitamins and nutrients that um, are natural within the vegetables. It is super, super, super important to drink water every day. And um, I'll be the first one to say that I have trouble drinking water. So I have switched to flavored water. I drink hint water. It, you can do that. Just make sure there's no sugar added, no preservatives added in any, any of the flavored waters that you drink. Rule of thumb, take your body weight, divide it in half and use that number in ounces. That will tell you how many ounces of water you should be drinking every day. There's no easy way to drink it. There's no easy way to not run to the bathroom 10 times a day. <laughs> so I think that those are things that you wanna consider when you're drinking your water every day, but it is critical toward your health to drink half your body weight in ounces of water every day. Uh, if you can stay away from the alcohol along with staying away from the dairy, more power to you. <laughs> uh, you know, everything in moderation, but in order to live a clean and healthy lifestyle, no alcohol, and again, no dairy. Uh, let's talk about portions. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, but in uh, generally speaking, servings when we're talking about proteins and carbs is about 19 ounces a day. And you've got three meals um, to eat and two snacks throughout the day. So you want to try and limit to two servings of proteins and carbs a day, three servings of fat. Your fats are never, ever measured in ounces. They're measured in tablespoons, teaspoons, because, uh, for example, two tablespoons of olive oil is one serving of fat. Three egg yolks is one serving of fat. Limit your fruits to two a day. You don't ever want to go on a fruit diet or fruit heavy um, nutrition program. Fruits have a, a lot of natural sugar in them. They're very, very good for you and natural sugar is fine. But because they are filled with natural sugar, you wanna eat your fruit before noontime so that your body can metabolize that natural sugar throughout the day. Two servings per day. So a serving would be a handful of berries. A serving would be one banana. A serving would be one apple. One watermelon is not, not a serving. One cantaloupe is not a serving. So remember, you have to shift, make that mind uh, set. You have to change your mindset so that you can make sure you're eating the right foods in the right portions. Um, vegetables are unlimited. So I uh, tend to um, tell people to fill up on your veggies. There is nothing wrong with cutting up a cucumber, having it in the refrigerator so it can be grabbed, grab and go, cutting up celery. Personally, I like to crunch when I eat. So my best alternative uh, from opening a bag of chips is to get something crunchy. So I have cut up sweet peppers in the refrigerator, cut up celery sticks. Sometimes I take some almond butter uh, or peanut butter and put it on those celery sticks and I have a nice healthy snack. 
Uh, timing. We talked about the right foods and we talked about the right portions. It is super important to eat throughout the day so that we, you can reset your metabolism. So the best analogy that I found is to think of your metabolism like a campfire. When you, if you're out in the woods camping, I mean, think back to our Girl Scout days um, and you light the campfire, you wake up, you light the fire. If you walk away from that fire, it burns out. But if you add kindling to it throughout the day, it burns nice and evenly, nice and slowly, and works as designed, so to speak. It is the exact same thing with your metabolism. When you wake up in the morning, within one hour, you need to eat breakfast so that you can get your metabolism going. Two to three hours later, you're going to have a healthy snack so that your body continues to burn calories and to work as designed. Two to three hours later, a nice healthy lunch, two to three hours later, a good healthy snack, and then finally dinner. So again, you need to reset your metabolism. And it usually takes about two to three weeks of eating breakfast, a snack, lunch, snack, dinner for your metabolism to reset. Any questions, anything anybody wants to add? Okay, just circling back. Um, it's important to exercise five times a week. Uh, what we do at the max, and I'm just going to, to give you guys a little, uh, a little uh, information about what we do is each day of the week, Monday through Friday, we have a different type of workout. So some days it's cardio, some days it's strength training. Uh, the, the workouts at the max are 45 minute classes. Uh, we have seven different class times a day, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the morning, 4.45 in the afternoon, and um, 6 p.m. at night. One of the things that differentiates the max from other fitness centers is the support, motivation, and accountability that you get. We are a tight-knit community. It's more like a family um, than anything I've ever experienced. It's an, a, an amazing culture. And I invite each and every one of you to come and experience the max a free week. If you're a chamber member, you get a free week on me. Uh, that's the max of freehold. Unfortunately, I can't share that offer with any other maxes, but come and see me, give me a call um, and experience what we're all about. Uh, this, these are just some testimonials um, because of the max. These are just a few members. I had about 65 members that day that chose to share what the max uh, has done for them. <clears throat> and, but they're basically all the same. Because of the max, I have more energy. Because of the max, I'm more confident. Uh, I feel strong and fabulous. Because of, of the max, I am a, an active, fun grandma because of the max, I feel better. So these are just some, some great testimonials. And then lastly, I just wanna finish with, um, I found this quote and I wanna share it with you. We don't stop exercising because we grow old. We grow old because we stop exercising. So again, the importance of getting your body moving. We, we tend to be very sedentary, especially after um, what we've been through over the past two to three years. So uh, we should all make a commitment to ourselves to become better versions of ourselves, to get our bodies moving, to eat clean, to eat, uh, eat um, follow a healthy nutrition plan and become better versions of ourselves. We owe it to everyone around us, but most importantly, we owe it to ourselves. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you all at the max. All right. Well, Julie, Judy, that was amazing. That was great information that we all need in life in general. It's a great way to kick off uh, a healthy new year. Um, does anybody have any questions for Judy? Anybody? 
I don't have a question, but I do have a testimonial. Um, I didn't do the max and freehold because it's a little bit far from me, but I have done the max challenges. And if you do stick to the programs, they really do work. Um, Excellent. Thank you, Eric. And they're good I, habits to, to incorporate. But thanks, you know, Katie. even even and I like to talk about nutrition a lot because even if you don't join a max, go to wherever you feel comfortable or whatever is nearby. People tend to go to fitness centers uh, or gyms that are convenient for them. So if you have one at work, if you have one, uh, a Planet Fitness or, uh, you know, something nearby, do something. Um, and as important as getting your body moving is follow a healthy nutrition program. Um, I'm happy to share one-on-one uh, -on -one what we do at the max as far as nutrition with anyone uh, that's in the chamber. Just give me a call and we can talk more about it. But eat clean and uh, and get your body moving. You'll feel so much better. <laughs> I see that Carrie has her hand up. Good morning. Thank you, Judy. I met you at um, the last woman in business luncheon. I ran right to your hair because it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, Judy's speaking. Yeah, well, that's Thanks, really great, um, great advice, especially for the new year. Um, I knew about the water thing and I tell everybody to do it too. I yeah. love water. I don't know, you know, I don't know. I just, that's all I drink. But um, the portion control and everything, uh, not control, the two servings or whatever per day. We all try to follow that, I'm sure. Um, especially at the beginning of the year. Here I go, New Year's resolutions and yeah. stuff like that um building muscle and things like that so but I wanted to ask you know you it's a good program a lot of my friends are in it um do go to the max and um you know for people that have like back problems and maybe thyroid problems and things like that do you have people that um you know are familiar uh, with that, because people with thyroid problems, it's, it's they struggle to lose weight, and you know other other problems, they struggle to lose weight and and build up body mass and and things like that. So, do you have people that specify in areas like that? So, all of my instructors are trained to instruct at three different levels. So, we are very familiar. The average age of a um, of a member at the max is, uh, I would say, about uh, fifty. So, by the time our bodies get to that <laughs> that stage, we've got shoulder issues, we've got knee issues. Uh, you know, there's always a hip or a foot or something, and um, my instructors are all trained to instruct at three different levels. So for everything we do, we show modifications uh, for an, an exercise, whether it's stepping out a jumping jack or uh, not using weights to lift, but clenching your fists and you can still feel the resistance. We work out with sometimes with resistance bands. If you can't get down on the floor, we have modifications where you can stand up. So we're, we are all very, very well versed in um, the issues that people might have on a daily basis. And one of the, the fantastic things is you could be standing, it's all group fitness. So you could be standing next to someone who is leveling up and, and working out with weights and you're not using any weights, but that person next to you will most certainly cheer you on and give you the support that you need because it's not about uh, being better than anyone else. It's just about being as good as you can be. So to answer your question, yes, we do pay a lot of attention to that. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Uh, Sherilyn has her hand up. Thank you very much, Judy. I'm very visual. That was really helpful to see all of that. Oh, good. I'm glad. So I'm glad we got that working and just seeing all the reminders and all the, the, the label reading again but I really appreciate the water because that is hard for me. And I know mm -hmm. that I need to step up my game, but when you put all that visually like that, I'm like, yeah, I really need to step up my game. So, so thank you very much. Good, good information. Well, one thing that you might want to do, um, and it sounds corny and it sounds like, you know, these are the types of things that people fight every step of the way. But if you set an alarm on your watch or on your phone 
for every hour, whether it's 20 minutes after the hour or 35 minutes after the hour, whatever fits into your day, set an alarm for every hour and every hour, grab that water bottle and drink your water. So I, I find that very helpful. Otherwise, I just don't pay, pay any attention to it. So that's just another tip. That's a great tip because the intentions are good when I walk around with right. that water bottle, but I'm like, all right, it's noon and I haven't even taken a sip. <laughs> so, <Right. laughs> you go. Thanks. Thanks, Sherilyn. Martha. Hi. Well, thank you so much also for the information. Really helpful. And you hear about this, but it's really hard to put it into practice. Um, I think the dairy piece was the one where I was like, I don't know if I can do this. So what alternative is there? Maybe just to transition to <laughs> no dairy because it's hard. Well, uh, um, so instead of regular milk, the options are almond milk. The options are cashew milk oat milk, as long as there's no yeah. sugar in it, no sugar added. And again, is it as good as regular milk? Absolutely not. But you have to change your expectations. You know, you're never going to see the physical changes until you make a mental shift. So I use, I switch to cashew milk in my coffee. And the difference is I used to put this much half and half. So now I put that much. That's the best way to explain. Mm -hmm. It's like a four second pour instead of a one second pour. So it's different. Um, it's not, go, it's not an, an even replacement. And then as far as uh, the cheese goes, I just stay away from cheese. There is no replacement. I do some of my cooking um, with, oh gosh, it, it escapes me what I use. Um, Nutritional yeast, that's what it is. Nutritional yeast are flakes of um, natural product that I use as a thickener or sometimes mm. as a um, cheese flavor, but I stay away from cheese completely. And, and over the course of time, you learn that you don't need it. Mm -hmm. It's like an added uh, bonus, but you don't need it. Right, right. No, this is helpful. Thank you so much. Appreciate sure. it. Thank you, Martha. Next up, Raheel. Hi, good morning, guys. Um, no, I was just going to say, so I've tried vegan cheese, um, like vegan cheese slices and like mm -hmm. almond cheese. And uh, <laughs> it's better just to stay away because you're not going to get the stringiness. Unfortunately, it's close, but it's just easier just to eliminate it than, than, than try other stuff. So yeah, uh, that's what I found. Yeah, it's just, and then there are like, you know, I think um, there are, if, if you work around with it, like if you work around with like your diet and you you just try different things, um, you can find substitutes for like that, for that taste, right? Not necessarily that taste, but that feeling where you kind of want to enjoy something, but it doesn't have to be bacon for you to enjoy a meal. You know what I mean? You find like little things, like healthier options over the course of time. I just wanted to say that, you know, there's a great presentation. I want to thank you guys for allowing me in here. Thank you for not booting me. I just realized this is a, a women in business uh, uh, meeting. So so thank you for that. Um, and just, you know, kind of I've had my own like fitness journey, whatever. I'm sure we, we've all had our own. Um, and the one thing that I found out, and I think the reason why it's important to, you know, make the commitment for going five days um, in the beginning is because that is the hardest part, right? I think, Judy, at the beginning, you mentioned, you, you told us a story about uh, telling your husband you went to the gym um, and then you were just in the parking lot. What I found <laughs> is, because I go to the gym now basically every day um, because I need to, to make some changes, the hardest part of going to the gym is the walk from the car to the gym. You know what I mean? Once you start working out, it's easy. You realize that, you know, it's going to be okay, but it's that initial commitment and it doesn't have to be something that is hard. You know what I mean? It's just the fact that you're doing something for yourself that day. And then you kind of carry that feeling to every other aspect of it, right? Mm -hmm. It helps you with your regular work. It helps you with, you know, your connections with people and in, in regular life that you're just making the effort. And once you start doing that, eventually over time it's you know it just all kind of works out right so for me the hardest part was changing my diet 
it took me like a year after I started going to the gym to actually change my diet. And it was, I'm already doing the work of like working out. Why am I wasting some of this effort when I can just make some little changes? So. Thank you. Thanks for that. Excellent. And Rahil, you are welcome to be here. So <laughs> <laughs> Lorraine. Yes. Hi, Judy. Great. Hi, Lorraine. Jay. Thanks. Um, I, I also had had uh, was a member of Max Fitness, not Freehold because it's not near where I live. But I do want to say something about dairy because I started going there. I was having a lot of pain and inflammation in my hands and my joints. Never knew why. I would eat yogurt every day. Okay. That was something that I ate every day. And I never really, like, you know, of course, I'd eat cake or cookies, but it's not something that would be a normal diet every day. I kind of always thought I ate okay healthy. But when I did go to Max, I learned a lot about nutrition. Yeah. And even to this day, I still follow that. And I, I rarely, I never eat dairy. You know, maybe around the holidays, if somebody has some cheese and crackers out, okay, I'll have a piece of cheese, you know, and a cracker or two. But after go, starting with the Max and getting rid of the dairy, the inflammation was gone and I had no more pain in my hands. And to this day, it doesn't happen to me anymore. And I am convinced that the dairy was causing inflammation in my joints. Because believe me, I went to the doctor, I went to a rheumatologist, you don't know, they did so much blood work. Mm. I had nothing, no arthritis, nothing. There was absolutely nothing wrong with me. So it is a really good nutrition plan, I have to say. So if anybody is considering looking into Max Fitness, I would highly recommend it. Thank you. And uh, there are maxes scattered all around the state. So uh, go online, see which one is closest to you. And again, if you can make your way to the Freehold Max, uh, mm -hmm. please do come for a week uh, and see what we're all about. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Judy. All right. Thank you very much, Lorraine. Great questions. Great presentation. I am so excited that we kicked off 2023 with you, Judy, because now you, you got so everybody much. excited. And I we hope so. All support each other. This group here, if you want to do a, I don't know what we could do, but to support each other and our healthy, uh, our healthy selves for the new year. So thank you for kicking that off for us. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, I know we, uh, we're we here till 930, but um, I want to go around the room and have everybody do their 30 second commercial so we know who is in the room. And if anybody, Judy, um, can you, would you be able to share your presentation with the people that attended this if we give you the email list? Would that work? Absolutely. I'd be more than happy to email that out. And uh, uh, just as a caveat to that, I'm happy to publish a 30 day uh, workout that you guys can do at home that we can all kind of check in once a week and see how we're doing on it. Just a short little ab workout or something to kind of get us um, a little motivated and um, hold each other accountable each week when we do we meet once a week or once a month or so the Women in Business uh, online is once a month, the first Tuesday of every month, 8.30 to 9.30 on Zoom. Then okay. we have the quarterly, the quarterly lunches that you've been to, yeah. Okay, I'm, I apologize for not, That's okay. not knowing, but I will also send that out in the email so it's something that we can all kind of work on together. I like that. I and like you that. know, if I could just throw in too, we've recently started a health and wellness committee uh, led by Howard Stein from Home Helpers. And I don't know if that would be something you might be interested in joining, Judy. Yes, I think Howard and I spoke at oh, the holiday luncheon. So um, yeah, absolutely, I'd be interested. There, there are gonna be vendor tables there. You should get a vendor table, not just be there as an attendee, but you should have a vendor table there. Okay, great. When is that? It's the 11th of January, next uh, Wednesday? Is it Thursday? Wednesday? Thursday. Wednesday. Oh, okay. All right. I'll have to get some more information on that. Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll, call, you afterwards. I'll call you later today. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you for yep. that. All right. So let's go around the room. Let's go to Danielle, then Carrie, then 
Oh, Danielle Woolley, then Carrie, then Danielle Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, I am Danielle Woolley. I am a strategic customer success consultant with WorkWave. Um, I am also um, one of the, I don't want to say owners because no one really owns a 501c3, but I also run a cat rescue locally called Tommy's Cats um, between me and two other main volunteers and local volunteer people. Um, and I'm also the co-host of a new podcast that launched last week called The Jersey Podcasts. Um, it actually comes out every Tuesday morning. Episode two is released today. So if you like cats, I invite you to listen to that anywhere you like podcasts or on YouTube. Thank you, Daniel. Good morning, Carrie Kuskowski. I work with The Connection. We're a managed IT service provider. Um, we protect your network, um, offer hardware, software, voice over IP services, um, we protect you all around. I'm, uh, I'm thinking it's Monday, so it's not. So I'm out of my head. Um, so I'm sure a lot of us are. And um, I think that's it. So thank you. And thanks again, Judy. Thank you, Carrie. Good morning, everyone. Danielle Arno, Artworks Events. I host um, on site and virtual, although not very often virtual anymore, paint parties and art events, corporate events, team building, private events as well for any occasion, birthdays or whatever else, a variety of different projects and all events are, are customized to whatever you're looking for. Um, yeah, um, also, if anybody is looking, I'm looking maybe possibly to do something else part-time if anyone's looking for any marketing or events or graphics help for anything. Um, I'm looking for something. In addition, I'm, I'm still doing the art parties though. So thank you, Danielle Arno, Artworks Events. Um, Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you, Danielle. Next up, Erica Boyer, Rahil Shamim, and Lorraine Lang. Good morning, everybody. I'm Erica Boyer, Edward Jones, um, helping individuals and small business owners meet your financial goals. Um, you know, just as you know, most people, you know, start with health. What are my New Year's resolutions? Having a plan for for the year in terms of what you want to accomplish, both in your business and personally. Um, I help individuals in terms of making sure that you keep accountable um, and that you're going to meet your financial goals, so that you do have financial independence throughout your life. Um, and Judy, thank you so much for sharing today. Um, and it was greatly inspiring. And yes, I will have problems with the dairy as well. I love cheese. <laughs> Thanks, Erica. Uh, good morning, everybody. Raheel uh, Shamim from uh, Link High Technologies. We are an MSP as well. Um, we joined the chamber six months ago. It's been great meeting everybody. I look forward to attending these meetings uh, in the future. Um, you know, for us, um, and I'm sure uh, Carrie can vouch for it. The, the the biggest thing for us right now is cybersecurity. Um, it's actually interesting. We just got this uh, flyer from the connection about doing a network assessment. So, um, you know, I would you know uh, encourage all of you to take uh, to take advantage of that from from the connection because it is very very important. Um, it's top of mind for us. A lot of times, people um, you know smaller businesses think that they are not going to be targets of an intrusion um but and it but it's not just the big people you know everybody's kind of uh can be a victim so um you know by all means uh take advantage of that uh, of that offer from the connection so all right thank you so much for hill yep good morning everybody uh lorraine lang i am a cpa and partner at bernica Iger and lang uh, we're located in Eatontown, New Jersey, and we're primarily a tax-focused uh, firm where we help individuals and small businesses with their tax needs, accounting needs, and tax planning. So this time of year, we are right now, we're going to be getting busy with tax season. Usually uh, the first week of February, people start giving us their documentation, um, you know, since you have until the end of January um, to get those things out. And uh, that's it. So if anybody needs any tax advice, give me a call. <laughs> Lorraine Lang, Bernica Roger and Lang, where we make life less taxing. I love that. Thanks, Lorraine. 
Next up, Marissa, Victoria, and Martha. Good morning. Um, Marissa Hardesty um, with Spirion Staffing in New Jersey. Um, we work with candidates that are looking for employment. Uh, we work really in all industries from customer service, office administration, um, manufacturing and logistics, um, as well as um, the legal field, accounting field, really, really anything. Um, so if you know anybody who's looking for employment or of any companies that are looking to partner, um, please feel free to get in touch with me. Thank you, Marissa. Hi, good morning. I am Victoria. This is my first meeting. Thank you for having me. Um, I am, uh, I, I represent the Jewish Home of Freehold. We are a skilled nursing and rehab facility. Uh, I've been in the industry for about 17 years. I'm a New York transplant, but what I do for uh, the Jewish home is I am their director of community relations. So I'm really connecting that piece of Monmouth County together and bringing, uh, bringing the knowledge of what we offer to our community. We have specialty programs such as ortho, ortho, orthopedic, pulmonary, cardiac, physiatry, and I have created and started our Russian language program. Uh, which is now in the last three years, a big need for Monmouth County and our neighboring community. Um, it just gives a peace of mind to the families moving in uh, to make sure that they have that communication and uh, I guess that home sense. Uh, our facility is very unique. We're only four years old. We have 60 private subacute rooms with private ensuite bathrooms, 30 uh, shared uh, long-term rooms, as well as 30 private rooms for long-term care. And we have a amazingly acclaimed memory care unit for our most vulnerable seniors with dementia and Alzheimer's in a secured community. Um, I invite anybody who's interested or who might know someone who needs any type of help to come tour with me, you'll be amazed. I'm two, two driveways up from Center State. I put my contact in the information and uh, it was lovely meeting you all today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Hi, I am Martha Vasquez. I am also new. Um, this is my first session. Um, I, as I mentioned earlier, I lead Global Reward for an engineering consulting firm. Um, we're a very large organization, um, over 18,000 employees around the world. And some of the, um, you know, I didn't know anything about engineering until I started working here and um, I learned that our firm is the one that designed um, the, the engineering for the Sydney Opera House. So um, very uh, large uh, iconic buildings that we get involved in. Um, even locally here, we've done uh, Terminal 4 at JFK. Uh, airport. We've done um, the master planning for the Mario Como Bridge. Um, so lot, large projects. I work with engineers all the time, um, but I'm in the HR space. So um, I'm primarily involved with compensation, global compensation, global benefits programs. And I've been with the company for over 20 years, even though I, I'm, I, I left and came back. Um, so I uh, had a number of roles in this organization, but um, really great company. And I'm really happy to be here and look forward to getting involved and um, learning more and how I can contribute. And um, I am bilingual. I speak Spanish um, as well. I do, we do provide um, Spanish classes um, to our employees, um, informal mm -hmm. Spanish, um, just because they they're interested in learning and um, so anything that I can get involved in I'm looking forward to participating. All right, very good. Welcome and thank you for joining us, Martha. <laughs> All right, next we're going to go to Tamara Demianovic. She's our chamber vice president, and then we'll go to Sherilyn Prislumsky, our chamber president. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Women in Business Zoom. It was amazing. You did such a great job, Jody. And I'll have to ask you offline how you feel about steel oats, because I love them. And no, I don't think I can give up cheese either. I'm, I'm with the Erica group. <laughs> I'm the Director of Community Relations for Community Affairs and Resource Center. It's a nonprofit. We're located in Asbury Park 
in Freehold, Lakewood, and in Keyport. And what I do in my role is create awareness and help of our programs to the community that we serve and also for possible donors that wanna make a difference and help us help our communities that need it. And I'm also the owner of Outside the Box Gift where I create custom, very unique, unusual gifts for all occasions. So thanks again, Tara Demianovich, Community Affairs and Resource Center and Outside the Box Gift. And yes, thank you, Therese. I am very proud to be a vice president uh, sharing responsibility and backup for Sherilyn, our wonderful president, where we really love small business and helping one another. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Well, thank you very much, Tara. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that very much. Um, it's a team, all of us here. So I just, I welcome Martha, Victoria, and again, Judy, thank you so much um, for the very visual presentation. And um, I'm in HR, I'm cer senior certified HR professional. So um, I am, I don't help with the compensation and all that, but I refer so, but I help the uh, small to medium businesses understand all those employment laws to keep them in a um, compliant, to keep them compliant. So, so again, thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Sherilyn. Last but not least, the backbone of the office, Kathleen Hoffman. <laughs> if you guys can just bear with us for one more minute. I just want Kathleen to run through our busy January schedule here at the chamber. <laughs> Oh, you're on mute. Zane did it. Zane did it. Yeah, he's, he likes to push buttons. Um, okay, so first, and we're really excited about this, um, after um, all the time in the pandemic, we're finally going back to a diner uh, perk breakfast. This Friday, we're beginning at the Marlboro Diner. The perk will be moving back there. There'll be only one location for the perk. Um, and it'll be the Marlboro Diner on Route 9. We're very excited because it's going to be fresh cooked breakfast as opposed to, we don't even want to talk about what's in the breakfast, Judy, after what you just told us, but um, we're very excited to be back in person in a diner with a fresh cooked breakfast at an even better price. The, the price for members is $15. So we're very excited about that. Please sign up. We don't have any of the kind of we're not going to take cash at the door, but we don't have the limitations because it is a diner. Um, so you need to pay in advance, um, but we'd love to see you there. Uh, this is going to be uh, a talking about the um, chamber uh, for our first meeting. It's it's not going to be a regular speaker. Um, and then you already heard us mention on the 11th, our health and wellness group is having their very first event at Brookdale College. It's called Staying Healthy in the New Year. Uh, they're going to have a speaker and then a panel discussion. Um, I believe they're, I'm not really sure who yet, but the speaker is going to be a registered dietitian. Um, there's going to be no charge. They're actually getting out there beating the bushes to get sponsors so that they can invite everybody as their guest. As far as I know right now, they're planning to have vendor tables and there's no charge for them to raise. Um, that I have to, uh, no, there, I believe there is, I have to get back to you on that. Okay. I, yeah. Cause I, there's no, as of right now, we don't, we aren't offering that on the, um, on the sign up. We aren't yeah, offering yeah. vendor tables, yeah. but we are looking for additional vendors for 250, um, with the usual benefits of, of having an opportunity to speak and having your logo on the, on the, um, the page. So that's going to be a really fun event. And we like to, if you can try to be there. Um, you get a free lunch and a great program, and you'll be supporting our new health and wellness committee. Um, so I'm really excited about that one. Um, uh, we have our usual monthly young professional meeting. And then on the 23rd, we have our installation dinner where the, uh, the board will be sworn in for 2023. Um, we do have some changes. We have some people that left us, unfortunately, and some people that joined us. Um, it's going to be a great event at Jumping Brook Country Club, so you can go on and uh, sign up for that right now. Um, we know if you've been to an event at Jumping Brook, they're, they're just, the food is great, the view is great. Um, there's going to be two hours of open bar, which some people consider great. Um, 
and that is open for sign up right now. Um, and also and it's, it's not just we uh, the installation it is the installation of our board members, but we have um, it's also our annual membership meeting so. Uh, we uh, have one big meeting a year for members to to come, and, and that's it. And Vin Gopal is going to be our speaker. So, yeah, he's also going to swear on the board. So, yeah, he's going to swear on the board. Um, Vin is always uh, interesting, um, great guy. Um, and last but not least, for January, we have a new event. It's not open for registration yet because we're still waiting for some details. But the Monmouth County Education Association is going to be doing something called Business Before Hours. Um, it's going to be a breakfast on the 26th. Um, so think of business after hours and then flip it on its head and make it a breakfast instead. So it's going to be um, that kind of a format. Uh, and the business after hours is just going to be breakfast. And we will you'll keep your eyes out on the web page because you start you'll see um, an announcement, also an email, social media, um, things like that. I wanted to mention too, I think Carrie had to leave us. Um, Raheel mentioned uh, we sent out an e-blast for the connection this morning where they're offering a network risk assessment for free. So everybody that's on the chamber mailing list should have gotten that e-blast this morning. Um, and as Rahil mentioned, it's a great opportunity uh, to look at your network and see if they see any vulnerabilities. It'll be up to you to decide what you want to do about it. But um, we've worked with the connection a lot and they're very knowledgeable, great group. So um, keep your eye out for that. So anybody have any questions about any events that are coming up? I just have one, one other thing to say. We are still doing a Zoom breakfast meeting on the last Friday of each month so that we uh, have that option available for people that can't make the in-person breakfast. So it's in-person at Marlboro every week, except the last Friday, that will be Zoom. And if there's five Fridays in the month, it'll be the fifth Friday. The last Friday, yeah. Yeah, so just so it'll always be the last Friday. Okay, the only exception is leadership summit in March leadership so there will be no park breakfast we go we will are suggesting everybody goes to the leadership summit that's going to be live at Brookdale on uh, the last Friday in March. All right, anybody else have any questions I know we went a little bit late. But uh, thank you so much for being here and enjoy uh, enjoy the rest of your short work week. <laughs> Bye. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year. Bye, Bye everyone. Thank you.